Hey guys, today I'm going to make this cheap workbench with casters here on Urban Goods. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry for the delay, but I've been busy making things. For this project, I'm going to use 90 by 45 millimeter framing pine. So my friends in the US, 2x4s will work perfectly. And for the top, I'm using 18 millimeter MDF. For this bench, I'm going to use some additive joinery, meaning basically you glue the pieces around the join to make it nice and strong. This is a guide on how I did mine, so the measurements don't really matter because everything is customizable. Seeing how I did mine, you can easily work out how to make one for yourself. So first I'm going to cut four full length leg pieces and then I'll cut additional pieces to fit around the bottom and the top rail. This is hard to explain, but once you see the glue up process, it'll all make sense. As you can see, I'm cutting four little blocks for the bottom and then after that, I'll cut out some longer pieces. Using a speed square makes really easy work for cutting 90 degree angles. I have a miter saw, but I only wanted to use two tools on this build, a circular saw and a drill. So for the glue up process, on one side of the leg will be the long piece, then glue a little piece on the bottom, then using a scrap piece, make a 90 millimeter gap, then glue the longer bit down, which should leave you with a 90 mil gap at the top. As you can see, I'm in need of some clamps, but for the meantime, I'll just use what I can find. After that I did the same glue up with the next three legs, making sure to wipe up any glue with a rag. While the glue was drying I cut two of my longer lower rails. Once the glue was dry, I started cutting out the material for the rail to sit. Make sure your circular saw depth is set to 45mm. and Start making multiple passes. Once you have enough material removed, grab a hammer or a chisel and remove the rest. I cheated and I used my circular saw to cut the rest. While I was cutting the bottom rail, I cut the top section out to fit my lap join. One tip I can give is that when you finish each leg, set it out so you can visually see where all the rails are going to go. Once all the legs were cut out, I inserted my bottom rail, making sure everything fit. Once I was happy, I pre-drilled and countersunk with a decking bit, then I glued and screwed it in. Then I did exactly the same with the other side. After that, it was time to do the other rails using the same steps as before. cut my top rails and screwed them in and I screwed my side rails in as well. I added three supports for my bottom shelf and I added a center support for the top. The final base should look like this. Once I was happy, I flipped it and I added some casters to the bottom. I flipped it back over and I rolled it over to my ute and I got some 18mm MDF out the back. That will be for my top. 
for the top I chose to have some overhang for clamping purposes. This was pretty straightforward, all I did was just cut it to the size using my circular saw. I countersink and pre-drilled the top and I added screws. I got my palm router out and ran it over the edge. This isn't necessary, but it's a lot nicer to lean against. I cut out my lower shelf exactly how I did the top, screwed it in, and I was done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button and give it a like. Thanks for watching. See ya.